Secrets of Instant Messaging Instant messaging is one of the fastest growing forms of communication, both at home and at work. IM helps people send quick text messages around the world, talk for free on the internet, and transfer files all pretty much instantly. So how does it work? Most IM programs connect to an IM company on the internet that both verifies a particular user's identity, called authentication, and sends information between users. When you start up an IM program, called an IM client, it first tries to contact a particular company's IM server. The IM server verifies your username and password and then logs you in. At this point, you're connected. Now you'll see a full list of your buddies that are currently online. As your friends sign in and out, you'll see them appear and disappear from your list. You'll also notice that the statuses of your friends automatically change from online to away to busy or offline based on whether that person is logged in and using his or her computer. When you send a message to your friend, it travels from your IAM client to the IAM server to which you're connected. The message then travels directly to your buddy and a pop-up window appears on his or her machine. As you continue your conversation, the messages go back and forth between the clients and servers with very little delay. Now let's suppose you want to send a file to your friend. Your IAM client essentially asks the IAM server where your friend is located on the internet and then helps your computer make a direct connection to your friend's computer. The reason a direct connection is made is it's more efficient than trying to send every file through the IAM servers Instant messages are tiny, while files like movies and audio can be quite large. Now that you understand how instant messaging functions, message away.